go. Here we go. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe button. Like, subscribe button. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Here we have another crazy story, another crazy story. So j Bo is basically saying that Blue Da Vinci, he can't be trusted. Think about that. I tell you, a lot of these individuals, they'll feel a lot better if you were behind the bars with them, opposed to you being at home, especially you being at home with your family. They really would, they really would. It would make them feel better. Man, which one of them niggas like shot you, like had you fooled, like the biggest disappointment, like this nigga bitch? I'm on that case. Yeah, on y'all case. Um, one of them is blue. Um, another one is E. Think about that. This guy saying Blue Da Vinci didn't do what he's supposed to do. So I just want to make sure that I'm right. If you get a get out of free um, jail card, you're not supposed to use it. You're supposed to tear it up and say, you know what? I'm staying in here. I'm staying in here. Seems like that's what he's trying to say. Now one man from Atlanta. <laughs> nah. Um, <laughs> nah, I was just saying. We are the. I'm glad. You know, we Which are, blue? Blue Da Vinci. What blue do? Shit, he ain't do what we did. I thought they said it wasn't never no paperwork on blue. Man, let me, I'm finna explain this shit one more time. Think about that. Think about that. You have someone who you might say, you know what? This person's a friend of mine's. You know, maybe he could look past what I did. You know, he knows it and I know what I did. But why let the whole world know? I can't figure it out. <laughs> Everybody know I'm a real nigga. And I ain't gonna lie about shit. Sure. None of that. Jay know me. Jay used to be around us back then. And Jay, she know how I am. Um, it was a situation where we was already locked up. You know, 2010, they came and got me out of prison. I didn't know why. Most people, when they're behind the bars, what they're trying to do, they're trying to get out right away. I don't know why. I don't know why. Very rarely would they want to stay in. But most of the time, they want to get out. And believe it or not, a lot of them are just hoping for the opportunity for someone to say, you know what, start talking, and you can go home. They really are. They really are. While I was going, I didn't know what it was for. It was a wanted. So, of course, you know, you got to go. Shit, you already know motherfuckers custody. Yeah. So they flew me to, um, I ended up going to, uh, what's that shit, Lovejoy. And Clay County. Yeah, I, I don't know. It was Lovejoy. I know I've been there. Uh -huh. Um. So they, they, I ended up getting, it took about 10 hours for me to get to my pod. So when I got to my pod, it took them 12 minutes to tell me. What I can't figure out, it's like every individual behind the bars for whatever reason, they always have a perfect memory. They really do, they really do. Perfect memory. To pack your shit back up and come back downstairs, you finna go to the hole. So I'm saying, what the fuck I'm going to the hole for? They like, well, you got 13 separate tees. You know, a separate tees is somebody that told on your case or on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, what you, they call? you can't be a around. Separate them, right? You can't be around. Yeah. yeah. Separate tees. Not, not separate tees. They're going to keep you separate. Is it basically on, like. Like you know, an absentee is somebody that's absent. Like a this separate motherfucker tea microphone is told on you. You got to stay separate from. And, and, and men is microphone in the same jail. They're going to put that motherfucker way on the other side of the jail. So you say if a nigga separate tee, he guaranteed to be on. Separate. Right. No, he said something. No, he talking. Right. But he can't. But I. So basically, what's basically what's going on? Like I told you before, a lot of these individuals will feel a lot better if you were behind the bars with them. They really would. Oh, blues here. Okay, okay. I feel better now. I feel better now. I, not <laughs> only I couldn't, <laughs> right, right. I couldn't be around them. I couldn't see them. So that's the whole key right there. I couldn't see them. Cause so, they feel like you're gonna intimidate them. Exactly. So I'm like, yep. when they told me I gotta go, I'm like, shit, is anybody in this pod? They like, nah. Well, why the fuck I gotta go? You can't see them. They told me this. I'm like, damn, hot fuck. Blue Da Vinci said everything that Drebo was saying is all made up. Think about that. Think about that. 
Imagine someone accusing you of something with no paperwork and you saying it's not true. How do you really prove who's lying? How do you really prove who's lying? So they put me in the hole. You know what I'm saying? I ended up um, going to court. Well, it wasn't even court. It was some other shit. They was trying to see we want to tell on Wu. Like tribunal. You know, they- Tell on who? I probably Wu. Yeah. Wu yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, he was the last person I think I caught on that case. So when I find it, build some evidence. Well, huh? they were just trying to see if a motherfucker want to tell, get you some time cut, and and, and get him, you know, just yeah, yeah, lock yeah. Him. As I was saying, that's a standard procedure. It's called a get out of jail free card. A lot of individuals are praying for that card, but they don't get the luxury of using it or getting one. But when else? Some when else? When someone else get it now? It's an issue. It said, no, you free? I don't want you free, I want you in here with me. Me and Casey go, all that shit before case you go to trial, they go bring you witnesses in and, and your ass did. See if you see if you don't got them, yeah. see if you ready to fold, like, boy, you ready? We got something for you type so, shit. When I made it up to the- Christmas. When I made it upstairs, not a courtroom, I, they walked me through to an office with, and I was in the office all, you know, like a long little table, probably sit about 12 people. And it's all DA, you know, agents and it shit. It almost looked like a parole hearing type yeah, shit. Like, yeah, that's how I look. So when I walk in, I'm like, oh, damn, all right, what's going on? Like, hey, Mr. Brown, trying to be all nice and shit. Hey, Mr. Brown, we just want to see if, you know, it's a rule 35 and all that. So basically what's going on, what's going on right now, j -Bo, he's upset that Blue Da Vinci was able to get out of jail after only, only a few years. I believe after three or four and a half years, that was it. He's mad about that. Hey, rule 35, I said, uh-uh. I what said, no, nah. it's, it's a rule where you, you get, some, get some time cut. You know, and is it five, what is, what is it, a 5K1 or some shit like that. But the rule, they were talking about like a rule, rule 35 or rule 11, it's something oh, like so that. So they basically asking you if you want to snitch within their language. Exactly. <laughs> So when they start saying that, I'm, I'm shaking my head. Hey, no, just hold on, just hold on. I say, sir, ma'am, uh, I'm sorry, but you know, y'all know the type of person I am. No, y'all know, y'all could have just asked me that while I was in prison. <laughs> and I would have <laughs> right. told y'all, get the shit. fuck off. You know shit. what I'm saying? So I said, uh, what I can't figure out, what I can't figure out, these individuals, they say they're from the streets and they know the rules of the streets and they know this and that. But they should know that individuals cooperate with the authorities also. Why not just let that person cooperate with the authority to say it is what it is? Why tell the whole world about it, huh? I mean, I'll be over here to say this shit. I say, man, look, I don't, I don't make my bed. I, I'm cool with that. I'm ready to go lay back in my bed. And when, when they say that, like, well, here, take my card. No, nah, I don't want your card. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, just put me back in my seat. I thought I was going to court. And for what? I didn't know. Because all my case is over with. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it was about that shit. You know what I'm saying? And so when I got back to my to my, my hole, I wasn't on the disciplinary so I can use the phone, you know, or the commissary and shit. They just had me back there because of the separate t shit. So, Cuzzo came through the uh, Chip 2 Cuzzo and D Shot. And I ended up telling Blue Da Vinci, Blue Da Vinci, saying all that J Bo's doing is making up stories. He's lying. Who's telling the truth? I mean, is j Bo really Blue Da Vinci's friend for telling the whole world what's really going on? Because of what, what was going on, we got a chance to go outside the wreck. And I told him what was going on. He's like, oh, you already know. You ain't got to worry about me and all that shit. I know. I said, I know. I'll just let you know what they want because we ain't got no court. No court. It's some, they trying to see if you want to tell us type shit. They brought him through. Flew them out. D-Shot come through. We had to screen through the, through the, through the vent because they going to let us talk to each other no more. So I told him what it was. They took him to court. He went home. They kept me back in that bitch for about three weeks, you know what I'm saying, until they finally came and got me. So I called my homegirl, D. I was like, look. They for some reason, I said the individuals behind the bars, they had perfect memories. So I said, j Bo was upset. That Blue Da Vinci went home early and he had to sit down for a little while longer. Eventually he got out and went right back in. 
Why did he even get out? Just to go right back in. I don't know. Trying to see, tell moms, they trying to see if a motherfucker want to tell on, on, on Wu. And I was like, I'm, they got me in love, Joy. Now, this is where the seaport come in at. She said, you in love, Joy? She said, she is blue in love, Joy. I said, D. All right. Blue not in love, Joy, because if Blue was in love, Joy, and he wasn't telling, he would be back here in the hole with me and D-Shot and Chip 2 Cuzzo. Never came back there. So, a lot of these individuals, believe it or not, they think they know it all. They probably do. They know everything except for how not to go behind the bars. They know everything else about that. When niggas say they need paperwork, I'm the paperwork. Yeah. Because motherfucker know I ain't gonna sit there. And if it, I know the rule in prison, if, you, if a motherfucker say you hot, you gotta produce paperwork saying this nigga hot. Well, in this case, when I ain't got no paperwork, I'm the paperwork. I know if the nigga wasn't. Jay Bo is a lawyer, a detective, and everything else right now. I don't need any paperwork. I'm the paperwork. I'm the paperwork. Hell, he would be back there with me. You see what I'm saying? Like, he wasn't back there. Two others was. Oh, so you saying he finna tell on Wu? He all already know. told. That nigga probably already told on whoever. You know what I'm saying? This, this, <laughs> this shit old. It's old. Like, this, they, just, they just caught. They just caught, bro. And, and, and we're trying to, you know. Oh, you saying. Imagine that. You have someone who you once considered a brother or friend tarnishing your name without no proof. Hold up, let me, let me say this. <laughs> so you say I got that. They already, they ain't get him mixed up. Like, you belong with the separatees. Exactly. Off rip. Like, as soon as you come in, bro, we already know you, what you do. He went back there with me. Separatee me. So sure. that's, you saying, like, that's, can't nobody tell you nothing. That's what you that can't, is. You can't tell me. I don't, I don't give a fuck who it is. You can't tell me that that nigga not doing what motherfuckers think he doing. I know what he did. You know what I'm saying? Like, Damn. I know he told on Wu. That a fact, I know he told on my man. Imagine that. Imagine that. Someone say they know you did something with no proof. Unbelievable. That's how it goes sometimes, though. That's how it goes sometimes, though. Till next time, F Service TV, tell a friend, tell a friend. Here we go, here we go. No, I ain't finna keep sugarcoating this shit about that nigga, man. Man, that's crazy. How accurate is that BMF shit, though? Like, uh, see.